Hello there, Dominic here with a third introduction to the pen tool, this time about splam patches and subdivision surfaces. So go to the basic tab, right click over here and choose pen tool. Going to press Ctrl D to reset my properties and choose type spline patch. Now I can draw out a spline patch. Drop the tool and this is actually just a regular polygon, Shift A. As you can see, all convert to vertices, four vertices. And what I could do now is right click again over here and choose patch curves and click in the viewport. You see, you get your blue handles. And uh, when it's set to freeze, then perpendicular and parallel becomes available. And there I can set my number of segments like that. Drop the tool and go to polygon mode and you see when I hover over it I can you see the highlights the little polygons but also one big polygon so the polygon that got created and I'm going to select it like this I also have selected a small one I'm going to middle control middle mouse button click to deselect that one control X to cut and to new layer control V to paste W to move it over going to choose items going back to that layer polygons double click control X to cut in for new layer control V to paste W I'll move this over like that A to fit all items shift select this one shift select that one and you see I'm going to hide my grid and world pane shift A in this layer I had my original polygon and with the patching it created these curves and the patching itself this geometry so pen tool with spline patching I never use it for spline patching I always create separate curves like that and connect them and then use the spline patch tool but there are other videos tutorials about that so I suggest you look them up uh, okay, control M for backspace. Oh, uh, I just wanted to add that for the rest, um, the settings of the pen tool with spline patching is the, the same as what you saw in other videos. And as a last type, we have subdivs, and I can start drawing out a polygon like that, and it's actually the same as with polygons, but this polygon has been subdued. So if I drop the tool now and press tab, then it simply goes out of sub D and tab again, you see. So it's the pen tool with subdivs. I can also set it to make quads, but I prefer actually to use the pen tool just in polygon mode, which is more straightforward in my opinion than the some these and the rest of the settings of course apply like you see in the previous videos so this was Dominic hope you found it useful and bye for now